What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today we're gonna go over all of the buttons, controls, and functions for your Pixel Hybrid Bar Light Pack. Now I'm just gonna take out one of my lights to show you guys all of these different features, but keep in mind that these apply to all of the lights that come in the pack. So I'm gonna take out one of the lights right now to show you how it works. On the back, we have the on and off switch to turn our light on and off. So I'll go ahead and turn it on now. Next to that, we have the controls for the light. So we have the menu button to set our lights into the different modes. We have the up and down buttons to adjust the different settings for each mode. And then we have the enter button to save our changes. And after we press the enter button, it will also automatically remember this setting. So if we turn the light off and back on, it's gonna go to that last mode that we saved. So let's go through the different modes right now, starting with the DMX address mode. This allows us to set up the DMX address for the light so we can use it with our DMX controller. From here, we can use the up and down buttons to change the DMX address. So if I press up, I can switch it from A001 to A002 and so on and so forth. Next, we have the DMX channel mode, which allows us to set how much control we have over our light when we use a DMX controller. And there's various degrees of controls with each DMX channel, but we're gonna be going over that later on. So in this mode, I'm gonna press enter to switch the DMX channel mode. Then I can use the up and down buttons to switch between five channel, 14 channel, and 75 channel. And once I pick which one I wanna use, I can press enter to save the change. Next, we have the fail mode. And this will actually determine how the light will behave when it loses communication with your wireless DMX controller or remote. So while we're in the fail mode, we can press enter and we have two different options. So the first option we have is hold. This means that it's going to hold the current setting that it was last set to. So say it was set to a red LED and we lose the communication, the light will still stay on that red mode or we can set it to off so that the light will black out as soon as it loses that communication. Next, we have the auto mode where we can switch the light into different preset shows. So this is auto one, which goes through a series of different motions. We can then use the up and down buttons to cycle between different preset shows. Then we can press enter to adjust the speed for the mode. So if I go down, then that will make it go slower. And the higher I go, the faster the show will go. And then we can press enter again, which will bring us back to the auto mode. Next, we have the fade mode where the light will fade between each color. And we can use the up and down buttons to cycle between the different fade modes. And if we press enter, we can adjust the speed of the fade and use the up and down buttons to do that. Next, we have the strobe mode where we can cycle between different strobe effects. We can then press enter to adjust the speed of the strobe and use the up and down buttons to adjust that speed and press enter again to get back to strobe mode. Next, we have the sound mode where we can cycle between four different sound effects. And then we can press enter in this mode to switch the sensitivity of the microphone, which will change how the light interacts with the sound being picked up. So the higher I go in this setting, the more sensitive the mic will be. Next, we have the manual mode, which will allow us to make a custom color for the light. So we can press enter in this mode to cycle between the different LEDs. So for example, when you press enter once, you can then adjust the red LED. If you press it again, you can adjust the green LED. If you press it again after that, you can adjust the blue LED. After blue, you can press enter again to adjust the white strobe dimmer. And then you can press enter again to adjust the warm white dimmer. With each dimmer, you can use the up and down buttons to adjust how much of each LED you want present. So for example, I'm in the red dimmer right now and I'm using the up button so that there's more of the red LEDs present. Then I can press enter to adjust the green LED and now there's more green present. And then I can do the same thing for the blue LED, the white strobe dimmer and the warm white dimmer. Next, we have the 2.4 gigahertz mode. This allows us to turn on or turn off the wireless DMX function. If we're trying to get our wireless DMX controller set up to the light and it's not working, you would want to go to this menu, press enter, and then you can use the up or down button to adjust it to be on or off. So if your DMX controller isn't working, this might be because this was accidentally turned off. 
So you can use either the up or down button to turn it back on, and now you should be able to finish setting up your DMX controller. Next, we have the IRCL mode, which allows us to turn on or turn off the function of our wireless remote with the light. So a similar thing, if your wireless remote isn't working with your light, you can press enter in this mode, use the up or down button to turn it from off to on or vice versa, and then press enter again to save that change. Next, we have the LED mode to turn off or turn on the LED display on the back of our light. And then we have the version mode, which will tell us the firmware version of our light. So that's each mode for the light, but there's still some more features. For example, there is the DMX in and the DMX out on the side of the light. This allows us to daisy chain a series of lights by using DMX cables. So for example, if this is my master light right here, I can plug one end of my DMX cable into the DMX out on the first light. Then I would plug the other end into the DMX in on the next light and so on and so forth down the chain. On the other side, we also have the power in and the power out sockets to electrically daisy chain each light so that they share some power. You can also use the power in socket with the included power cable to charge your light. You'll always be able to tell how much battery life your light has by looking at the battery level here on top of the light. And next to that, we have the wireless DMX group light. This allows us to set our lights to different wireless DMX groups, which are color coded so if we press this button, you'll see that we can cycle between different colors of red, green, yellow, blue, purple, cyan, and white. So hopefully this showed you guys all of the different controls, buttons, and functions for your Pixel Hybrid Bar Pack. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.